These are the voyages of Dark Star One. A salvage cruiser on a mission to find the universe's greatest makers and unite them in a fight against the Dark Star. No physical form has not yet witnessed the captain on this astral plane today. But I did not ask if you had. Impressive. <laughs> and then I said, I'll chip you later, Chipolata. <laughs> okay, read that back to me. Chapter 1 of the Skip Lightly Chronicles. It's just Skip. Skip, have you seen the captain? Oh, uh, hey, Steve. Uh, no, I, uh, I haven't seen him. Uh, you're just in time, by the way, to hear how I saved the princess from certain death. Maybe another time, Skip. <laughs> Radio. So there I was, confronted by the ice dragon, and then all of a sudden there was this great big... Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. Hello, Glenn. Have you seen the... What are you doing? Oh, hi Steve. I'm just polishing my big bell. Yes, I can see that. It's very... shiny. Oh, yes. I polish it at least twice a day. Sometimes three times, if I have the time and energy. That is a lot of time to be polishing your bell, Glenn. It's my bride and joy. Did I tell you how I won it by coming in first at the Gazimbal race? Yes, Glenn. Seventeen times. Oh, shame. What can I do for any of you? I am looking for the captain. Not seen him today, I'm afraid. I'll let you get on if you still need to find him. <laughs> goo chicka chicka. Come out, come out wherever you are. Mars? Where are you, monkey? Lars. Who's there? It's Steve. Who? 
It's Steve. Steve? <laughs> Lars, what are you doing? Have you seen my monkey anywhere? You do not have a monkey, Lars. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Why do you have a banana stuck in your butthole? Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> Silly monkey. Have you seen the captain, Lars? Oh, yeah, I see him all the time. Have you seen him today? Which today? Today is today. Hmm, let me think. Last checkup was there. Vitamin all? No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. No, no. no. Cavity 2? No. I have not seen him. Can I go back to looking for my monkey now? Yes, of course. Don't let me keep you. Splendid. Okay, monkey. It's time to find the banana and find you a new place to hide. Captain? Oh, hey, Steve. What's up? Captain, where have you been? I have been trying to contact you. I was, um, busy. I could not find you. Where is your wrist locator? Oh, I took it off. I was worried. Hey, it's okay. I didn't go far. What were you doing? <clears throat> Nothing. Were you having sexy alone time, Captain? What? <clears throat> what? It's okay if you were, Captain. It's only natural. I was having a shit, okay. Jeez, can a guy have a dump and peace around here? Apologies, Captain. I thought you might have been slapping the salami. Oh, Christ. What did you want me for, anyway? I have a message from Captain Blackheart for you. It's about Thorvald. Oh, okay. Play it. Playing now. Hello, Captain. Just a quick message for ye. I have requested Torvald to come aboard and help me with a wee problem. I won't keep him long, but that's all relative, I guess. What might be a day for me could be a month for you. He tried to send you a message, but we found him talking to my glasses case. He knows he's like that with technology. I'll keep you posted. Blackheart, signing off. Ah, uh, shit. Looks like we're down a man, Captain. Captain. I am detecting unauthorized movement in the cargo bay. Hmm. It's probably just Lars looking for his monkey again. I think not, Captain. All the crew are accounted for. We have ourselves a stowaway. Okay. Lock it all down, Steve. I'll head down there now. Skip. Skip! Yo, Captain. Join me at the cargo bay doors. Stat. And bring you weapon. You got it. Captain, um, I'm here. <laughs> hey, Skip. Thanks for... What are you wearing? Is that illusion silk? Oh, uh, this is my ledger robe, Captain. Uh, you like it? Why is it so short? Oh, gotta keep the boys nice and aired and ready for action. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't mean for you to bring that weapon. Christ. I think it's winking at me. Right, anyway... Steve says we have two stowaways inside. Weapons? But Captain, eyes up here. Sorry, it's mesmerizing. Uh, what did you say? Weapons? No, Skip. I cannot detect any unauthorized weapons. All right, Steve. Open the doors. Yes, Captain. Go investigate. Yes, Captain. Hey, you in there. Come on out where we can see you. And no funny business, okay? Skip? Skip Lately? Is that you? Hey, it's just Skip. Who the hell is this? 
It's me, Stitches! Stitches? <laughs> hey! What are you doing here? Hiya, Skip! Wow, that is a short robe! Skip, Chloe legs. She's at eye level with that thing. Comprende? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Hey, I thought you were a goner when those Zarex guards captured us on the spaceport. Uh, nah. It'll take a few more guards to get the better good old stitches. Mr. Fuckles came and rescued me, and we snuck in here to hide. Ain't that right, boy? Whoa! What the hell is that? This is Mr. Fuckles, and you are... Hey, uh, this is the captain I was telling you about. This is the guy? Skippa, I'm sorry. Can I touch it? I've never seen one this impressive before. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um... Oh, that is beautiful. It's a beauty, all right. So soft and smooth, too. Captain, you gotta come feel this here. Uh, give, give it a stroke. Uh, what's his problem? Has he never felt delusion self before? Thank God. I thought you were... Uh, uh, never mind. So, what's the deal here? Captain, this is the one who snuck me into the brothel on the spaceport, remember? All right. Stitches, right? That's me. Glad to be of service. Mr. Lightly here is a bona fide legend where I come from. It's just Skip. And please, <laughs> you'll give me a big head. I can see I already have one. What do you feed that thing? Princesses, mostly. Oh, fancy! So, yeah, anyway. Looks like we've got a bit of a problem here, Stitches. Oh, you won't even know me and Mr. Fuckles are here. Ain't that right? Oh, hey, no! Down, boy! Don't lick that! Don't lick it! <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I did not detect any unauthorized entry onto the ship, Captain. She must have some sort of cloaking device. Whoa! Who's that? Hello. My name is Steve. I am the onboard ship's AI. This is some fancy pant ship you got here, Captain. Looks like I chose the right one to sneak on board. Well, I've learned recently there's no such thing as coincidence. But you'll have to earn your way here, Stitches. You got any training? <laughs> yeah, you could say that, Captain. Ever heard of cybernetics? Yeah, vaguely. But that was centuries ago. Oh, uh, we, um... Well, they've come a long way since then. I headed the biological augmentation program. What? Like, cyborgs and robot cops? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Sounds like you'd be quite handy then. I'll take you down to see Officer Almost. I reckon you two will get on famously. And Skip? Yeah? Put some pants on, will you, old chap? You'll have somebody's eye out with that thing. Hey, Capitano. What's the dealio? Hey, almost. Who's the new gal? This is Stitches. She'll be joining us for a while. Howdy. Hey, aren't you the one that got skipped wearing a dress on the spaceport? Ha! Yeah, that's me. Come on, fess up. You did that as a joke, right? Yeah, totally for shits and giggles. Nice. nice. Girls got gay. Speaking of which, come to game night tonight? Uh, depends. Is Glenn still wanting to play strip poker? Of course he is. Between you and me, Cap, I think he wants the counselor to lose. Mm, know what I mean? Hey, yeah, little horn dog. Rusty says he'll knock up some bang tasty grub for us too. I like him, Cap. Yeah, you both fit right in here. Ah, speak of the devil. Now then, fellas. Uh, Captain Steve was just looking for you. I said you were probably boshing one out somewhere. Oh, Christ. Hey, it's only natural. Hey, who's the new bird? And what is that? Hiya, I'm Stitches, and this is my compadre, Mr. Fuckles. Pleasure. The name's Rusty. Well, I'm just passing through. I've got a chilly on go that'll blow the back end out of a salaried rhino. 
Nice to meet you, Stitches. See you at game night tonight. Sure. Be a good way for her to meet everyone. I gotta run too, Cap. I wanna make sure the Raven is up and running at full speed for our mission. Steve says the weather down there is pretty unpredictable. Ah, good thinking. Could be a bumpy ride down to there. Yeah, I was gonna ask Innate to help out, but uh, he's out for the count again. Between you and me, Cap, I think he's got a bit of a drinking problem. Yeah, no shit. The only problem he's got is that he's only got one mouth. Think I'll have to send him to Harmony for a sit down and a chat. Probably for the best. Right. See you tonight, Cap. And don't forget to bring your wallet. Sissies, you want to tag along and I can show you around? Oh, absolutely. I- is that a dimension door transmogrifier? Well, yeah. It's just a little thing I've been working on. Captain, I am receiving a long-range call from Vanguard. Patch them through, Steve. Yes, Captain. Dark Star 1, how do you think? Come in, Dark Star 1. Hmm, divert power to the subspace comma ray, Steve. Sure thing. Come in, Dark Star 1, are you there? Vanguard, we hear you. How can we be of assistance? This is Luna Smores, Vanguard's prodigy. When shall we be expecting you, Dark Star 1? What's our ETA, Steve? We will be arriving in 26 hours, 28 minutes, and 15 seconds, Captain. Ah, I see. I'm afraid Vanguard is having one of his episodes. You may find the weather down to the surface a wee bit rougher than usual, Captain. The two are related? I am afraid so, Captain. The planet and Vanguard, they have a mutual beneficial symbiotic relationship. Uh, Say what now? They are connected, Captain, on both a physical and a mental level. Ah, so what Vanguard feels, the planet feels. Well, I wouldn't put it in such simplistic terms, but yes. And these episodes you mentioned? Uh, yes. Sadly, Vanguard is not what he used to be, Captain. The planet has kept him alive for a thousand millennia, and now his mind is starting to fail him. He's no longer in total control. Can anything be done to help? I... I don't know, Captain. I believe he's transitioning to another plane of existence. He's leveling up, Captain. I know the feeling. (laughs) Ah, yes. The Oracle told me all about your upgrade. I think we'll be able to assist you with that upon your arrival. Ah, nice. (laughs) I feel a training montage coming on. Pardon me? You say what? Nothing. Is there anything we can do to help whilst we're on our way? I'm afraid not, but I will do my best to keep Vanguard calm. He seems to have grown quite fond of an ancient earth music called Swing. If I'm not mistaken, it mentioned that there are some right bangers from that period. I'll take your word for it. Luna, was it? Aye. Luna at your service, Captain. Alrighty, well, we'll see you soon. I'll be in touch when we reach the planet. Excellent. I'll see you soon. Darkstar 1, signing off. So, who's up for strip poker? Okay, lover boy. Easy does it. (laughs) I say we up the stakes. Oh, now we're talking. Winner doesn't have to clean toilets for a week. Oh yeah, I am so in. I'm down for that. Wait, we clean the toilets? Well, you don't. Like my old man used to say, you don't have a dog can bark yourself. Wait. You had a dog to clean your toilets. So, everyone, meet Stitches. She'll be joining us for a while while we sort out this vanguard situation. Hey, everyone. Am I okay to join in? I pull up a pew. Of course. Sit here next to me. Ooh, this chili's got a bit of a kick. Wait till the morning. <laughs> I'd put an extra toilet roll in freezer if I were you. Know what I mean? I wish there was a cold beer to go with this. Yeah, Nate. Thanks for drinking all the beers. It's been a rough week. Lay off. Excuse me? I said lay off. All right? Oh, you're not bad. Who do you think you're talking to, exactly? Screw this. I'm out of here. Enny, sit down. No one's being blamed here. Let's just all relax and have a bit of fun. Hey, now. Let's just play some cards and enjoy our evening. 
And hey, we can go for a walk and a chat if you like. It's okay. Sorry, everyone. I'm having a bit of a hard time at the moment. Do you want almost the stitches to give you once over in the morning? Would you mind? Is that okay with you two? No, no, no. We'll do it first thing. I'd be happy to, N8. Thank you. Right. Aces are high. And someone pass the guacamole over. Right then, N8. Let's see what we can see. Sorry for the outburst last night. Don't sweat it, N8. We all have our off days. Steve, are you ready to run the diagnostic? Yes. I will run an intensive deep scan. Stitches, are you okay to observe? Yeah, of course. I don't want to be stepping on any toes here. Something is not right. I can feel it deep in my core programming. N8, the ship is asking if she can help. Oh, yeah, sure, I guess. She can help me with your optimization. Go for it. Okay, you will be out for a little while, but you should be as good as new when you reboot. Okay, Steve, start the scan. Commencing scan. Whoa, look at that mainframe. My goodness, would you look at that? Fascinating. It seems his code is being rewritten from the ground up. The ship is telling me she has seen this programming before. Where? Here, in the ship. The same thing happened to her when she passed through the singularity. This is some crazy shit, Steve. You're telling me! Yes. She is telling me we should not be worried. It would seem both N8 and the ship are converging into a single code base. What was due to him? I do not know. Jeez, they could wipe all his prime directives. This could take a lot longer than expected, Officer Almost. I will work with the ship on N8's diagnostics and keep you informed. Alrighty, take good care of him, Steve. He's a grumpy old asshole, but he's our grumpy old asshole, okay? Will do. Dark Star 1 to Vanguard. Do you hear me? Come in. I hear you loud and clear, Captain. We're making final preparations for our departure. I'll be making our way down shortly. Send over the final docking coordinates. Sending, Sending coordinates now. now. How many will be joining you, Captain? Six, in total. Very well. I will have your quarters prepared for you all. I will see you shortly, Captain. Safe travels. Darkstar 1, signing off. Right, you lot. Let's make sure this goes as smooth as silk. N8 is out of action for a while, so Harmony, Glenn, Skip, Rusty and Lars, you're with me. Almost, stay here with Stitches and help Steve with N8. Steve, you're our eyes in the sky. Keep an eye on the planet's geological system for us, okay? Yes, Captain. You're in charge of not letting us die a horrible, agonizing death. I will do my best, Captain. Captain, are you there? I am sorry. The Captain is not in right now. But please, leave a message after the beep. Beep! No. Is this thing on? Hello, Captain. I... Er, in fast modern machines. Where's the redo button on this thing? I'm only fucking with you, Captain. What's up? <laughs> oh, very good, Captain. You had me there. Well played. I just wanted to wish you all well on your quest. It looks as though she'll be a bit harder mission than I first thought. Didn't you think this was a hard mission to start with anyway? Indeed I did, Captain. But now I fear, with Vanguard's condition worsening, that you may not complete your objective. Our objective, Captain. We're all in this together, remember? Yes. Yes, we are. All of us. Speaking of, I have an old friend that wants to say hello. The Oracle? Ah, 
find out. <gasps> Hello once again, my dear Captain. Hello. Hello. Again. again. Captain, I must talk to you before you depart to visit Vanguard. Shoot! Shoot. What's up? What's up? I've been monitoring Vanguard's cerebral cortex for the last few months, and I'm deeply concerned. I just hope we're not too late. So what's his story? He has been the guardian of the Argos for a very, very long time. At that time, he has trained his body and mind to reach extraordinary levels of power. He joined with the planet's very essence, transferred the archives into every living molecule, trees, mountains, and rivers. They hold the memories of all the knowledge he has gained through the archives. In time, he and the planet became one. But now he is changing, evolving, and unfortunately, the planet cannot sustain itself without him. I am afraid the planet will tear itself apart and the archives will be lost forever. I thought we were here to recruit him to the cause. This doesn't sound like anything we can help with, does it? I do not know, Captain. I can only point you in the right direction and hope the fate smile fondly upon us. You could put a good word in for us, right? I wish I could, Captain. I wish I could. Well, well, I guess we'll, I guess just, have we'll just have to see when we get down there. Harmony might be able to help with Vanguard. She's good at connecting with people. Yes. We'll all have your part to play, Captain. I will bid you all a safe journey. And Captain... Yes? yes. Don't forget to breathe. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Whoa, Captain, are you okay? Oh, man, I hate that part. Ugh. So, uh, what did I miss? Um, you were, like, vibrating. It looked like you were phasing in and out of reality. Ah, uh, thank God. I thought it was only me seeing that. You all saw the monkey too, right? Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, everybody, honestly. Let's see if this Luna fella can actually help me wrangle these powers of mine. Right. Glenn. Ugh. Is the Raven all stocked up and good to go? You know it, Captain. Everything is ready, Captain. Shall I hail Luna and tell him you are on your way? Yeah, do it. A crew, listen up. We've never gone headfirst into a situation like this before. This would be dangerous, so stay frosty, okay? I'm sure this Luna guy will help us the best he can, but if the shit hits the fan, we get out there, right? Yes, Captain. Aye, aye. Right, let's go save this Vanguard guy. Bye, guys! Be on the lookout, Glenn. The storm is gathering on your coordinates. Hang on to your butts, guys. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Oh my goodness, what is that smell? Bloody Nora, what's dying in here? Ugh, it smells like someone's wrapped the turd in here and set it on fire. Ugh, son of a fuck. Has somebody shit their pants? <clears throat> I'm uh, sorry, uh, that was me. I think the chili is having its revenge with all this bouncing around. Ugh, oh, it's making my eyes sting. Ah, I can taste it. Even I can smell it. I can only apologize. Fuck it out. We can see on the scanners, it looks like a bit of a photograph, right? Are you able to traverse the storm? Are you kidding me? I could do this blindfolded. Yes, Luna. Our pilot is more than... Look out! Shit! Captain, are you okay? Guys! Tickety-boo, Captain. I 
I'm okay, I think. I think I pooped a little bit. Ooh. Does anyone have any wet wipes? I'll take that to the yes. Glenn, report! I can't hold her, Captain. We're going down. Shit! Shit! Are you okay? Yes, Captain. My big bell comes with the impact. What? <sighs> Harmony, are you okay? My leg, Captain. I think it's broken. Can you put weight on it? I'll try. Ow! Lars, do your thing. On it, Captain. Scanning. This should take the pain away, Counselor. One for you, and one for me. Really, Lars? What? Oh, this is a bad time. Well, yes. Hey, hey, oh, the pretty butterfly. Glenn and Skip, <laughs> carry harmony. We need to get out of here fast. How far away from Vanguard? Two clicks north, Captain. Okay, essentials only. Rusty, grab what you can. Aye, aye, Captain. Steve, can you let Luna to our whereabouts? Already can it, Captain. They are on their way. Okay, tell them we'll clear this forest. We'll meet them on the other side. Yes, Captain. I do not like the sound of that. Skull warks. Wolves. Fucking werewolves. Fuck me sideways. They have our scent, Captain. We must hurry. I think it's time to get the fuck out of here. Raised in the home 
Each trained to kill them. You talk too much? Yet our time. You're not related to Blackheart, <coughs> are you? Hmm, I am not. Uh, just checking. Uh, am I dying? Yes. Man, that sucks. Like, for real? Yes, I am afraid so. There's nothing I can do? I Say that. Do you want to live? Yes! Why? Well, because I have to. Yes, but why must you? What difference will it make if you do? Because my crew, my family, they need me. But they are safe. Your sacrifice helped them escape. And in the future too. What if they need me? What if I could have saved them again? There's too many dangers ahead. I have to protect them. Why must it be you who protects them? Well, look. Whether I want it or not, this power, this prophecy, this curse, whatever it is, this thing chose me for whatever reason. I might not want it or be able to control it, but I have to try. I can't die. I can't let go. I'm only just starting. Do you believe? Yes. So I can't go. Do you see? There's too much at stake. Blackheart, the Oracle, they believe in me. My crew believe in me. And now, so do I.
prophecy reborn. No shadow, no creature of darkness can hide from my power. No, impossible. Now look me in the eyes and tell me how pathetic I am. <coughs> And now, you die. Captain, 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 come in. Captain, come in. Captain. Captain! Captain! Captain, come in. This is impossible in this rain. Should, should we split up? Captain. Rusty. No! To be continued. Apologies, Captain. I thought you might have been flapping a salami. <laughs> <laughs>